All right. So one of my first questions for you, um, being a woman of color and, you know, being in film, how does it feel to be at this point where do you feel like you're successful and what did it take, you know, to get here? Oh, my God. That's thank you for asking me that question. Um, I think that I've been lucky enough to have have had a career. I've had a long career as a documentary editor. This is my directorial debut. And, um, and it's, you know, I've been lucky enough um, to have opportunities, to have access, um, but there's so few of us, you know. Um, I've never been able to, like, have a mentor, like a Latina editor mentor before, and, um, and that's more needed. So... So I'm excited about being in the room and having access to the room and being able to like, you know, do this work, do this creative work, but there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Um, so yeah, I don't know if that answers the question. No, I, do, um, I totally understand being a black woman from the Midwest, like we don't get these type of opportunities. So yeah. what have you been doing in your career to make sure that you're bringing up women with you? That I'm bringing women with me? Yes. Um, I think that mentorship has always been important to me. I uh, Mentorship was very important as a young editor um, to, to learn um, the craft because for me it's really important to have access, but also important to like really focus on excellence. Um, so mentorship is really important and that's what I try to do with the people that, you know, that I get to work with, or even, um, actually I'm the founder of a website called BIPOC Doc Editors, um, dot com. <laughs> and, um, and, you know, we try to promote mentorship and opportunities, um, job opportunities for other BIPOC editors. So now did that answer your question? <laughs> um, so just getting into the actual documentary, how did you even go about telling the story? Because it's, it's a beautiful story and she has a lot of history to her. So how did you go about like, OK, I know this is right. This is I'm ready to put this out. How did you know it was the film was ready to be, you know, shown to the world? Yeah. Um, well, from the very beginning, we wanted to have Frida tell her own story. So we wanted to look into her words. Um, and that, that the, the film really was focused on her voice. Um, and then we, we wanted to really use the art as a narrative device and her art in a way that the art would be a way into her heart, that it would be a way into like listening to her thoughts and really like, you know, kind of like swing through her feelings. Um, and, and, you know, that's, that was our intention from the beginning. And so that's, that's what we went for. We were a little bit surprised because we thought that we might have to rely on other people's voices. Um, no contemporary voices. We didn't want to use like historical, you know, like art historians to tell us from a historical distance, like what they think she meant or what they thought of her art. But we wanted to only use voices of her and the people that knew her the best and uh, the people that loved her, you know, um, her first boyfriend, the nurse that was with her at the end of her life, the people that were there present when her life experience, experiences happened. So, so, but, and then it surprised us that she could be really the main narrator of her film and we went for it. We were like, okay, she wants to talk through her writing, so, so let's do it. I think it's a good, uh, good for us all to like write down our own stories because no one can tell our story best than us. Um, but how about in all my interviews, when people watch this interview, what do you want them to get from it? Um, well, I, I hope they watch the film. It's going to be on Amazon Prime on, on in March 14th. And I hope that by looking at the film, they realize that like releasing, you know, their own feelings in an honest way is a really good thing. It's a cathartic thing. Uh, and, and just like letting the voice out, like being able to scream your, your true in an honest way is something that we all need. So, yeah, that's my hope. In the end, everything will be carved in stone. Did I get it? Okay. <laughs> in the end, everything will be carved in stone.